next topic. How to create a wish list or a save or later list. So um, this has been very much requested by our users. Um, so we did it and we did it thanks to that new action menu as well. One um, new thing is that it's now possible to add a preview song to a set list before only the purchase song that were fully unlocked could be added to set list. It is no longer the case. So I will show you right now how you can save preview songs to decide later on if you would be purchasing them or not. So I'm going to take with this example. So let's say I'm considering purchasing No Bad Days by Bastille. I'm clicking that info panel, oh, sorry, that menu panel, add to set list, and it will display <coughs> all my set list folders. So you can see here a few set lists that I already have on my account. Now I want to create a dedicated set list that will be about my future potential purchases. So I simply click the plus button here. I call this my wish list create and it will automatically add this song to this set list. Let's say I think it will fit with another song that I already have and own. I will do this again, click the menu panel, add to set list. You will see that my wish list set list is now available. I simply click on it to add it here. And so if I go to my library in my tracks, I will find my new set list called my wish list or whatever you want to call it actually here. And you will see those songs being available here again. So that first one is a preview that is pending and that is not yet downloaded. This second one here is a song that I've already purchased that is full but I did not yet synchronized into my account. So I can open this song here when I'm ready to, and decide to purchase it at that moment in time, and it will turn into a full track. So this is as simple as that. Note also that you don't have to add those previews uh, into a dedicated wishlist set list. You can add that to any uh, set list of yours. So for example, if I already had prepared a set list for my next concert, which we have one here in uh, May, for example, I can simply add that preview to that future concert set list, find it back here and decide when I'm ready to purchase it. And you will see here that the previews never get fully downloaded on your device, not to waste storage. So it will always have that uh, lower opacity. And when you purchase it, it will turn as the other ones in here. So this is quite a nifty trick and you've been requesting it a lot. So we hope that you will make good use of it and it will help uh, your, your browsing and deciding which songs to purchase.